what is Chanel leather actually? Is it even leather at this point? I really hope we can crack this case eventually. And if they are using fake leather in parts of their bags, they should disclose that or change it to make it better quality leather. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you love shopping and handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. This morning, I noticed Tanner Leatherstein posted a video about deconstructing a vintage Chanel tote bag which I'm so curious about so he ended up deconstructing the bag I'll link the video below guys do watch it because it is quite fascinating he was gifted this Chanel vintage tote bag he basically uh, dissects it and says that the outside is this beautiful lambskin it's over 30 years old and it's worn very beautifully but when he got to the lining he discovered that although it looks like like goat skin which you'll commonly see in a lot of luxury bags that they're lined in goat skin. He discovered that when uh, rubbing away the top layer, it was actually a synthetic leather or fake leather or PU leather, which was quite controversial because you'd think that a bag like, you know, from Chanel would be 100% real leather. But in fact, this vintage tote had fake leather lining. It really makes one question how many designer bags are out there that are luxury and priced very high that are maybe h half made up of fake leather and real leather. There was some um, questioning as to whether this bag is authentic and he was gifted this bag and it was authenticated by Entropy. Now Entropy is like an AI device that was, it's pretty modern technology and it claims to be 99% accurate. A lot of consignment stores use Entropy. I've worked at consignment stores in the past and they use Entropy. Also real authentication. I know when I, my job was to authenticate things. I was using Entropy and Real Authentication and maybe another authentication website as well. Um, and I will say that sometimes Real Authentication and Entropy come back with different results. So I don't know if Entropy is as foolproof as it claims, to be honest, but Overall, it is pretty accurate and it claimed that this bag was authentic. I was kind of questioning the authenticity of this bag because it's a style that I'm not really familiar with. I have collected vintage Chanel bags in the past, but the tote bags that I commonly see often have like those balls on the zipper or a a zipper pull with uh, like Chanel spelt on it, but I don't always see the zipper pull with that big um, CC logo. But I did find this style um, on Vestier Collective sold the exact same style that Tanner Leatherstein deconstructed. And by looking at some of the closer details of this bag, it does look very similar to his. And I would say just by my own rough eye, it does look authentic. There's also another colorway in like a bi-color, like a white and a black. And it seems like this was um, a bag from the 90s. So I kind of have a suspicion that this is an authentic bag, which yes, it was authenticated by en Entropy. Even though a lot of people are saying this could be a fake bag, I, I have a feeling it's actually authentic. And if it is authentic, well, that makes us question if the inside is fake leather, then how many Chanel bags out there have interiors with fake leather? I was looking at other vintage Chanel bags um, on Vestia, which honestly, guys, Vestia is mixed of real and fake bags, like predominantly real, but there is some fake ones on there as well. But just by looking at some of the vintage bags, I noticed a lot of lambskin bags had beautiful, like, um, supple outer layers, like, on the outside. But the inside had a very similar appearance to this goatskin uh, texture, which the one leather um, tanner tana dissected. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to discover if a lot of vintage Chanel bags have fake leather lining because I feel like that's going to change people's perception of Chanel and you know a lot of people say vintage Chanel is the best quality la di da and the thing is yes they do hold up and last a long time but fake leather I guess can hold up sometimes not always but it seems like this uh fake leather that Chanel used in this bag really held up over 30 years. Mm, so it really makes me question all bags. A lot of my Hermes bags are also lined with a goat skin texture, like this Omnibus. 
and Hermes are pretty transparent about what leathers they use. For example, this Omnibus is Clemence leather on the outside, which is a baby bull leather, and the inside you can see is a similar texture to that, uh, the fake leather on the Chanel bag, so it's like this kind of like grained uh, finish. And another brand that um, is very transparent about their leather, I would say is Joseph Duclos. If you go on their website, they list all the different types of leather they use in their bags on the inside, like the different pockets and all this. And I think that transparency, good thing to have for a luxury brand because it entails trust in the brand and you know that you are getting a high quality product. But I feel like with Chanel, it's not always about the quality, it's more about the name and the design and the history that that brand has. And although a bag may be made and crafted out of higher quality materials, the fact is it might not hold value as much as a brand like Chanel who has more notoriety and more of a dream surrounded by owning the bag. I don't think that necessarily Collecting handbags is all about finding the perfectly crafted bags made out of the best premium leather. It's also about that collectability aspect that adds to the value of the bag. But I think there is going to be a shift in people going for more high quality leather bags. I think especially with just people watching Tanner's videos and really uh, taking a deep dive into like what makes a bag good quality. It's definitely something that uh, people are considering more and as time goes by I really hope that big brands like Chanel really take notice and a little bit more transparent about the leathers that they're using and if they are using fake leather in parts of their bags they should disclose that or change it to make it better quality leather. Similarly I visited Gucci recently and I was looking at their Di Diana bag which looked like a pig screen skin grain to me because I just looked at some Hermes pigskin bags and it looked like a very similar grain. But when I asked the sales associate about the leather they said it was calf skin which confused me because it was kind of embossed in a way to look like pig skin. And upon doing my research I discovered that vintage Diana Gucci bags were in fact made of pig skin but the modern day ones are not. But I I'm still actually a little bit confused because if you go on the Gucci website it says this bag is made of just leather. It doesn't even specify the type of leather. And this lack of transparency is something that I think for me it does influence me in terms of if I want to purchase that bag or not. If I don't know what leather this bag is made of or if it's made of part fake leather, part real leather, I want to know what animal this leather is because that is something that I'm I, I look for in bags, I look for good quality bags and I think as time goes by and like people like Tanner start dissecting more and more of these luxury bags, it really goes to show that a lot of it is just maybe lies and storytelling and that we're actually buying things that are maybe just a fantasy and it's got nothing to do with the quality at all. I really hope someone gives Tanner a classic flap to dissect because I feel like the leathers on classic flaps have definitely changed over the years, the quality has changed as well and it'll be interesting to take note on what sort of leathers Chanel do in fact use. I think it would be amazing if someone could donate Tanner a Hermes bag to dissect as well because recently he actually bought um, a bag from the Real Real, which was a mini Evelyn and he wasn't able to dissect it because they actually listed the bag as Togo and it was Clement. I think it was actually literally this bag so it'll be interesting to, for him to kind of talk about what makes Hermes leather better than perhaps other leather what and if it's actually worth the price point because I know when I buy an Hermes bag I am buying mainly the name but I also like to know that I'm buying a good quality leather. Um, there are a few things that Tanner says in his videos which kind of show that he's not as knowledgeable about designer bags in general. He's very knowledgeable about leather, but like for example, he said that the uh, CC tote that he deconstructed would have cost $4,000 back in the 90s, which is really inaccurate. This bag like this back in the 90s would have cost probably like $1,000. Back then in the 90s, that would have been expensive, but 
um yeah it's nowhere near the price that chanel is now and if chanel are producing bags that are of poorer quality than in the 90s and in the 90s that were lining their bags in fake leather well it really makes you question what you are in fact buying now particularly with seeing how the chanel 22 bag wears and how these other bags wear what is Chanel leather actually? Is it even leather at this point? I really hope we can crack this case eventually and Tanner continues to dissect these bags because I think it's interesting for us as consumers to know because it's I think a way of the future people are going to want to buy better quality made things and especially with the trend of like low-key luxury and like quiet luxury people are looking for more quality made pieces as opposed to brand name and logos anyways thanks for listening to my blabby video today and uh please like and subscribe and let me know your thoughts as well guys and i'll talk to you on my next one bye